Hey guys, it's Pamela. Doing another flip cup of fun today. And here's my colors. Oh, well, first I want to say real quickly, um, one of yous called me on the telephone yesterday and I was kind of in bed half the day yesterday, not feeling too hot. And I did see someone called, but if it's a number I don't recognize, I don't answer it because I get a lot of solicitor calls. So I didn't even bother to, and I saw they left a message, which sometimes solicitors do. I didn't check it until, or listen to the message until late last night. So this person was doing a um, shock rapport, which is one of my past videos. I think the last one actually. And um, she wanted some immediate advice. So I'm sorry I missed your, your call. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a call uh, on my telephone about pores. Um, I, I guess I came off my Facebook. I might need to fix that, but I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. I hope your pore went okay. And um, if you want to message me over Facebook, that's fine. I'll probably be more likely to answer that because it's not, you know, a solicitor call. <laughs> anyway, I want to apologize. Hopefully you're watching this video and uh, you got this message. Comments and uh, Facebook Messenger is great, um, but the telephone probably won't get to me at this point. At this point. Okay. Colors today. I put them here on a little, little card here. I mean a little tongue depressor. Black, white, and of course these are all Jerry's creative inspirations because I love to do flip cups with uh, that paint. And this is kind of a Hershey bar brown. Uh, I used some Van Dyke and brown and lightened it up. Uh, this is Van Dyke by itself. This is a kind of a napoli yellow, napoli, that I made up. Kind of a, a light cool yellow. And this is kind of a rust. So, and I want to use a, a different container because I want the paint to kind of, yeah, um, you'll see. I almost forgot the silic silicone, so that would have been a problem. <laughs> okay, this is very strong with this pouring medium and um, I listed this in video 40, the pouring medium. I'll list it again in this video down in the comments section. It won't kill me. I'll just put one drop because it's really reactive with this pouring medium in that one. Maybe in this one. Okay. I forget what I put it in, forget to stir. Okay. This is a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped with the high sides. And uh, someone's mowing outside, so I hope it isn't too loud for you. I found this square <clears throat> plastic. It's got spaghetti stains on the side. Because you know when you put spaghetti in the microwave with plastic, it it eats through the uh, the acid. And the tomato eats through the plastic, so it looks dirty, but it's not dirty. But I will have to retire it to the painting department once I uh, use it. Here, I don't want to put it because it is porous. I'm not going to use it for food anymore. I did switch those because I wanted the white in the first. Hopefully I'll get some orange. With 
this tomato red next to the white. This is a lot of paint. Okay. <laughs> Just came to that epiphany. This is a lot of paint. Okay, that's a good thing to do if you don't think you're going to have enough paint, but I just wanted to try it. I'm gonna come back this way. Try to keep that drip off the lip from falling in, but I don't know if that's gonna work. Mm. Big cells already. It dripped off the bottom. And made this. Yep, did. I didn't use a lot of this brown, but I seem to get a lot of it. Look at that funky design right there. It looks like I did a ring pour in the middle of it. Okay. Until. Very, very slow, and I should have painted my sides, but I did not. I'm going to come back the same way to move the weight of the paint to the center. Oh, 
That was three drops of silicone, guys. This pouring medium is just... When you use varnish, it's just off the chain. You tilt in a square formation, you get a square cell. There's one right there. <laughs> okay, where the cells are the most compact, probably because the yellow is highlighting them, but it looks like it's over here that they're the most spread out because that's the first lit corner that I tilted away from. So I'm just going to go kind of go back that way a little bit. Push them back together if that's possible. If that's possible. Actually, some of that's going to be going off the edge when I take this off. So, no, we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, leave it like that, let it dry, and then pour the resin on it. I might have something now I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting. This black background, it's like you're looking through something into space. amazing. Okay, I'm going to rip it off like a band-aid. I'm just kidding, not that fast. Okay. Okay, now it's just dripping over the sides, which is kind of a neat, kind of a neat, you know, maybe I'll just leave it like that to get a little more. time to your left and then I'll be done.
There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.